There's an app that only costs $1. All we need for red light therapy treatments? Let's find out. Oh, and be sure to stick around because I use my spectrometer to test how much power is actually being emitted from this app. And the numbers are simply ridiculous. You need to see this. So yes, this app is called RedMed and it's available for $1 in the Apple App Store. It's marketed as a red light therapy app and the bio reads, RedMed allows you to generate therapeutic red light on your device's screen. Sounds pretty neat, right? I mean, why buy an expensive panel or lug around a bulky handheld device when you can do it all on your phone. Even better, the app features pulsing up to 30 hertz on an iPhone or 120 hertz on an iPad Pro. And it doesn't stop there. You can also use it for blue or green light treatments. Of uh, course, that, right? Amazing, I can hear you think, take my money, where can I buy this? But hold up, this all sounds too good to be true. And it is. In fact, I wouldn't even use this app if it was free. Let me explain. You see, I use my $3,000 spectrometer, this professionally calibrated device measures light output. It shows wavelengths and in particular, the amount of light energy in a particular wavelength. This is known as irradiance or simply the power output. And after reviewing the published literature on red light therapy, we have a pretty good idea of how much light, how much power is needed to get a therapeutic treatment. So let me give you some examples. This tabletop red light therapy device emits about 40 milliwatts of therapeutic red light couple inches from the panel. The science says that around 10 joules of light is needed for surface level wound healing skin benefits. So that means we'd need about four minutes in front of this panel to get the therapeutic dose. Alternatively, this battery powered handheld red light therapy device emits around 20 milliwatts of red light. That means around an eight minute treatment time. Now here's where things get spicy. The RedMed app on full brightness has a power figure of zero 0.063 milliwatts. That's 300 times less than the handheld device. That also means treatment time of, wait for it, one day and three hours. Yes, 27 hours to get a therapeutic dosage of red light if you are using this app. And it gets worse. To add salt to the womb, the red light being emitted from this app is around 620 nanometers. Typically we see 630 or 630 60 nanometer light in these devices. 620 nanometer light isn't very popular in the red light therapy science space. So simply put, using the RedMed app on your phone doesn't emit enough therapeutic red light in the right power levels or even in the right wavelength to make a difference. Effectively, all you're getting is an app that creates a red screen or a flashing red screen if you enable pulsing. In fact, you don't even need to fork out a dollar to do what RedMed is. The quick internet search on the term red, pull up a red image, and I tested it, you get exactly the same output as you would in the app. Oh, and while doing this experiment, I actually had a thought. There is a way, in fact, to get a little bit more red light therapy energy from your phone, and it's free, and I'll talk about that more shortly. So please do not buy this app. It is literally junk, it's rubbish. In fact, it's sad that it's even on the app store. I mean, if it was on there for free, whatever, you could dismiss it as a laugh, but the fact that you have to pay money to get it, quite bad. I personally feel a little bit scammed out of my dollar, but hey, at least that's gone to good use, right? I've tested the app, I can share the data with you guys and save you some money and more importantly, time. By the way, speaking of time and money, if you do value these videos and the time and effort and money that goes into creating them, please hit the like and subscribe button below. It really does help me continue putting out content like this. Before we finish, just to show how silly that app was, I need to show you how much power is coming from the app's LED, the, the torch function on my iPhone here. So I used my spectrometer and I tested this. Now I know that yes, this isn't red light, it is white light, but white light includes red light. And as you can see on screen, most of the light coming from this LED is in fact blue light. But when we look at the red, we're seeing nearly one milliwatt of light, which is 15 times more energy that we're getting from the red red light therapy app. I do need to point out that this figure, the one milliwatt is still extremely low. You would need about three hours of treatment time at this power radiance to get a decent dose. But three hours is better than 27 hours, right? So please stay away from this app. Save your money if any of your friends are using it. Send them this video and tell them that they're literally wasting their time. Instead, I suggest you watch this video. In this video, I help you discover the best valued red light therapy tabletop panel. These devices are gonna put out a decent amount of therapeutic light at the right wavelength, meaning you only need to use it for 
a handful of minutes.